that time of the year, everyone, where the sneak peeks for Spirit Halloween start to unveil. And this year is looking more awesome than ever. New props, new everything have been coming out. And although some people may be questioning, why Halloween videos now? It's only July. Well, that's because I really just decided because I was bored to make a video on my thoughts on Sneak Peeks and Spirit Halloween 2017 so far. Now, I will not be going full in-depth Halloween videos for another couple weeks or so. However, I will be just giving my thoughts on the sneak peeks just for now. Just to give everyone a little glimpse of my thoughts for Halloween 2017. Because this year is looking really cool, and I've decided already to share my thoughts with all of you haunters out there. So without further ado, let's start on the 2017 sneak peeks. So they have unveiled that Lim Ripper is going to return at around the end of June is when they unveiled this. And this prop is awesome. Now I probably will not be picking this prop up. It's, here's the thing. A lot of people love this prop. However, I'm just not a huge fan of him. And I like Werewolf prop too. But like... I guess I just don't really have a major taste for Lim Ripper because he's a really cool prop, don't get me wrong. However, he's not the type of prop that I get because if you ask me, he just doesn't do much. Like, he's a huge prop. He's 74 inches, so that's 6 foot 2, so he's a big, tall prop. However, I just don't think that his movement and, like, just his eye flashing and, like, everything like that, I don't think that, like, he's worth my time. However, he has great detail and scary-looking mouth. And everything else about him is really cool. But I don't think I will be picking him up for the 2017 Halloween season. This is a controversial one. The 5 foot fenced in high voltage zombie animatronic. Now this prop, if you ask me, gets too much hate. And I say, I'm saying too much hate because this prop is actually not bad at all. It actually, the only problem with it is the movement. And yes, I could totally agree with why people don't like it because of the movement. It literally just looks like the guy is banging his head against the fence like Hangbanger, Headbanger Zombie from 2012. Makes no sense at all. However, I know where they were going with the price as well. The fence is huge, and it's five foot ten at the highest point. That's basically a life-size fence in all dimensions around. And the strobe lighting when the electrocution effect comes on. That oh, I know where they were going with it, and the detail of the zombie itself is also really awesome. Now, this, yes, this isn't a prop that I'm probably gonna get. This isn't gonna be a, be a prop that I'm probably gonna get. However, it's not gonna be a prop that I'm gonna hate on for the whole entire season. I have a feeling, here's my prediction, people are gonna start to see this prop in stores and notice that it isn't a bad prop whatsoever. Because this prop, if you ask me right now, isn't a bad prop whatsoever. It's really cool. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below, because I know that this prop is getting a little bit too much hate when it isn't a bad prop, if you ask me at all. Foggy basement doors are an awesome prop, and they are really cool. Now, they aren't really basement doors. They're more like a cellar, like, for example, going down to a wine cellar. That's what I think they were going to, because they should have said foggy and cellar doors, because a basement and a cellar tend to be somewhat different if you really look at it. However, here's the thing. This prop is awesome. Now, here's the my only campaign with complaint with this prop. $180, however, it does not come with the fog machine, and this is a major complaint about a lot of fogging props. You can be pricing them at $180, then you buy the fog machine. Even if you use a coupon on the prop itself to make it like $150, $140, you're still going to be spending like $230 for the whole entire set. And then if you decide to add on a step pad with that, you're going to be spending almost 250 So pretty much that's my only complaint with it. But the actual movement is really realistic and awesome. And the looks of it and detail are awesome. This prop is really cool, but I don't think I will be picking it up. However, you never know. This is a prop that I definitely need to see in stores to know my final thoughts on it. And it seems like it will be a pretty big prop. It's 25 inches high, so it's like just over like, it's just like about two feet high or just a little over two feet high 28.75 inches width that's gonna be pretty big that's almost three feet right there and 33 inches dimensions all around that's it's gonna be a big prop i have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna be like astonished by the size of this prop because this prop seems like it'll be pretty damn big Another really awesome prop for Spirit Halloween 2017, the Sitting Scare Clown, which is basically just a remake of Sitting Scarecrow. And if you ask me, this prop is so much better than Sitting Scarecrow. Sitting Scarecrow, Scarecrows, if you ask me, aren't even really that scary. Like, they're scary, however, they're, like, not scary, scary, where you're gonna be 
crapping yourself when you see them. Sitting scare clown, on the other hand, clowns in general are one of the most scariest Halloween creatures, especially over the past year with the killer clowns, which that whole entire controversial thing to do with all the clowns apparently killing people. Um, comment down below if you remember that, because that was a huge trend back like last year before Halloween. So I'm surprised they were making clown props this year because of that, because a lot of people might be a little bit scarred from all that dumb crap going on. Sitting Scare Clown, though, anyways, is an awesome prop. Again, a prop that I do not know if I will be picking it up. It seems like it's about the same dimensions as Sitting Scarecrow, so it'll probably be about the same size. However, another complaint. This prop's movement is not that fast. Sitting Scarecrow seemed like he had faster movement. I'm thinking because of the hat, because it seems like it's like plush almost type, the hat, which adds on a couple pounds. So it isn't all that bad at all, however, the face and the detail of this prop is awesome, and I also love how they dress this prop like a jester, so that makes it all the more better. So this prop I think will be really cool and a pretty damn good seller at Spirit Halloween for 2017. Toe Tag Corpse, 5 foot Toe Tag's Corpse. If you ask me, this prop is actually a really awesome prop. And I also love the fact that it's interchangeable sheets and feet, and you could turn it into either a dead corpse, or you could... Why did I say dead corpse? Dead corpse is the same exact thing. Corpse. And it has the human kind of rotting away feet. And, or you could choose the alien part. Personally, I think the alien part is more unique. Although if you want a more realistic feel to a prop like this, the corpse would be the way to go. However, the alien is also a really cool feel. And I love how they're starting to put in alien life sizes to Spirit Halloween. And I'm excited to see what other alien props are coming along. Um, I know a few, but... I can't really say anything. So yeah, anyway, 5 foot toe tag corpse, awesome prop. $120 is in that bad at all because of the fact it's interchangeable and it has some really cool looks and movement. Now, it isn't really a remake of John Doe. If you ask me, this prop is better than John Doe. Now, usually tabletops are part of the themes whenever they're part of a sneak peek. You know from last year, because a spider portrait haunted seance board, that they were they ended up being in the hotel because they were sneak peeked this prop. So this prop is bound to be in one of the themes this year. And if you ask me, this is one of the best tabletops the Spirit has released in a long time. It is the 14-inch Evil Eye Spellbook. So it isn't all that big. It's like just over a foot, like a foot and two inches. However, it is still really cool. Kind of reminds you of the voice actor of Haunted Seance Board because it probably is that person. However, I love the eyes movement. And it seems like this is a major fond of... The evil eye spellbook, the eye movement, and also I love the way it blinks and it isn't just the eye moving, because the blinking adds on even more realism to it. And if you ask me, this prop is awesome for $40. Now, I don't know if I will be getting it, but if it's one of the tabletops that I choose this year, it will be. Um, this prop, again, it is really cool, and is the latest sneak peek so far, and I'm really excited to see what the next one is. So, right now, let me just give my opinions on Spirit Home in 2017. Turning out to be an awesome year, and I'm excited to see what they have in store when the store starts to open. So, thank you all so much for watching, Halloween fans, and I will catch you all next time here on Coaster Mania's channel.